Camille. And we're pretty, pretty brown, brown and nerdy. nerdy. But I'm pretty brown and sad right now. Oh my god. We just got out of the movie theaters and we just watched home. or the plot of the movie, it tends to be really good. So I, I came in there expecting it to be what I had the least expected it to be. Which Towards the beginning, I really didn't know what to think. I was just kind of like, okay, this movie is so average. Like, I don't get me wrong, like Tip, Tip was like everything. She was so, oh my God, from, can we comment her on her hair from her for a second? To her thighs, like to just everything. Like she was like, they drew her really nice. What surprises me is the character designer is actually Japanese. Oh, Did okay. I didn't that? even catch that at all. Yeah. But her hair was like so on point. I think that's one of the things, I mean, about her character in the movie in general is how like radically diverse the movie was. I mean her hair, like I've never seen a character that looks like me like that in an animated movie before. Her ringlets had life. Like they were, there was like women with a hijab and yes, like, turbans and kufis and dashikis. So, so much, like, so, many. so much POC realness in this movie. Like it was ridiculous. I was really happy about that. Like I was excited. Every time I saw a person in the car, I was like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> And that was, they were from Barbados. They were like immigrants and they talked about how her struggles were being like a girl from the islands and then being here in America. There are these alien creatures called the Booth and they're the main Booth with is called O and he mainly got his name because a lot of the Booth don't like him. Yeah, everybody was like yeah. O. He's like, he's like Tip. He's the outcast of his um, community, of his, you know, group species. I don't right? cry at movies. I really don't. <laughs> we like, were like, I my face is literally straight every movie I see. But, oh my god, like this movie just like touched me. Like, I don't even know what it was. I just busted out, just in tears. Like so cute. He looked like a little, like, jelly candy that I wanted to eat up. He was so adorable. adorable. And their emotions, like, were went through the color. So he would change color with how excited or how happy or how loving or how upset or sad he was. And I was just like, oh my god. It was so crazy how deep that movie was like it was basically a commentary on like colonial mentality and like keeping people down and stamping out the unique and I guess oppressing people and I just was not expecting that like that movie hit me so hard and I feel like I really needed it right now so oh my god it's really interesting because the boob that species they're all about order and everything has to be done right and they're all about perfectionism and, and you know going away from the norm pretty much or, or what's different I should say um, and so they you know basically how they view humans is they view humans as some completely uneducated species because they do is 
the exact opposite of what the move do. So they're like, oh, they're uneducated, they don't know any better, they're ignorant, you know. And it's interesting how the two cultures collide. If you want to cry, if you're looking for a really good movie to just like shed a tear to you and have nobody judge you, this is the movie to do it because it just makes sense to just cry it out. Like literally, I think what it was for me, like I was trying to explain earlier, but like couldn't really get it out because I was literally about to fall again. But why am I keep saying? I just related to O so much. It was like so ridiculous because like I just know what it's like to feel isolated and like nobody really cares about you or wants to hang out with you just because growing up that was kind of my life. So I guess that's kind of what struck me, struck my emotions. Kind of made me cry like a little, cry like a little bitch. But you know, <laughs> I feel like that movie is something, <laughs> something all of us nerds can relate to because yes. it's like. Ever, if you've ever felt outcasted, you can look at the two main characters and see yourself at some point. And it was just like, just, oh, uh, uh, so good. Even, even gratuity to G, yes. <laughs> That's me too. Yeah, like, gratuity the MK tip. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty, Pretty Brown and Nerdy makes, makes this movie five out of five. five. Have you guys seen this movie? Let us know what you think about it in the comments. And please, please try to refrain from posting spoilers. Um, just let us know what you would rate it, what you thought. Did you cry? Did you cry like us? Like little babies? Let I had to go know. clean my face. Yes, let us know down below. And Rihanna, we love you. So, you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys later. Bye!